My guys, it's actually been a while since I've done an event guide and so let's just brush up on a couple of things because I do know that we have an influx of new players. And excuse my low energy, it's been a very long day. I've had like two back-to-back -back streams since 3 a.m. and then 9 a.m. And then on top of that, I also had work, so cut me a break. But like I said, in this video, we're gonna do some rehashing and veterans always correct me if I am wrong. And so with all of that, my guys, you already know what it is. Hi. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. <clears throat> My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the Valentine's event. I am going to be running through a couple of the mechanics just quickly breezing through it. It should not take like more than a few like 30 seconds or a minute. And then on top of that, I'm also going to go through the very hard mode and the different comps that we have that are available to the public, as well as talking about the special mode because like for most of us, it's probably in our best interest to not actually clear the special mode ASAP. And so I will get into that very, very shortly. However, with that being said, let's get on with the event campaign. Let's do a quick overview of like what's worth what doing, what's not worth doing. And so whether you are a new player or not, I'm pretty sure you've figured it out. All you have to do is clear from what stages one through to 115, and then we have to fight a boss, a normal boss, and then we go on to the hard stages. And then from here, we can fight a hard boss and a very hard boss. And then at a certain point, after we've like unlocked a certain amount of medals or used a certain amount of medals, we actually do end up with a special boss mode over here, which should appear underneath the very hard. And so with all of that context out of the way, there are a few questions that are always outstanding whenever we get some of these events. And the first question is, well, for the welfare unit, so we've got Valentine's Erica over here. How far should we go? Should we go for three star? Should we go for four star? Or should we go for five star? And as always, the answer depends. So for everybody, you should be at least getting a three star V Erica. And the reason for that is because there are bond bonuses that are locked behind the three star V Erica. And so at the very least, even if you're not using V Erica over here, you do want to unlock those bonds so that you get the extra stats for your base Erica, who has the UE, who is going to be a powerhouse in the upcoming CB. All right, so that answers that question. So the next question usually is, well, if I'm having trouble doing very hard mode, this one over here, I can only clear it in like three turns or I can only clear it in five turns or whatever. What exactly is the break point? So in that scenario, if you can clear very hard within three turns, then you should do very hard one once a day. However, if it takes you more than three turns to clear very hard over here, then I would just advise dumping all of your tickets, your boss tickets into the hard boss. And the reason for this is because of like the rewards, the medals and all of that, like the reward ratio is just lower once you go past three turn killing the very hard boss. All right, so next question after that, and this is a pretty unique one because it's not very often we get this. And what I'm referring to is the normal times three. And so I don't know about you guys, but like I am loving this normal times three. So as you guys can see this bad boy over here, and because it's coinciding with our Valentine's event. Well, should I stop farming this times three in favor of the event or should I do the event or like which one should I prioritize? The answer for this one is very, very clear. It is 100% this one. If you do still need gear, you're going all in for the normal times three. If you have just pulled your Valentine Shizuru, make sure to get her either to 9-0 or 12-0, depending on like what your clan leader says. I know there was a lot of debate on stream whether it was like 9-0, 9-6, 12-0, 12-4 -0, or whatever, like in terms of the rank for V Shizuru. But for me, my clan leader has told me 12-1 with the middle right armor at refine 4. And so that is probably what I'll be going. Like the issue with 9096, and I'm sorry that we're getting off the topic of this event. But the massive issue with Valentine Shizuru at 90 or 96 is that she is like very unlikely to survive the phase 2 bosses as well as the phase 3 bosses. And so when you look past rank 9, the next optimal point is at about like 12. Rank 12, and then you want to equip the piece of armor if you wish. So this guy over here, because this piece of armor actually gives you some TP boost. And then what you're also going to realize is that Refine 5 does not give TP boost. It only gives defense. So that's why you only want to go up to Refine 4. All right. But the reason that I was talking about this is because most of you have probably pulled for the Valentine Shizuru today. Prioritize getting your Shizuru up. At the minimum, I would definitely get her up to at least 9-0 and then potentially pre-farm all the way to 12-4. However, again, one last time, you are very likely only going to be going 12-1 middle right, which is this one, refine four. All right, and so if you are done with your Valentine Shizuru, the next like other priorities that you do wanna be doing is like your Eriko, your base Eriko. So she should be looking like this when her UE drops. And if you have done all of that, then you want to be farming for Muimi because Muimi is probably going to be coming right after Valentine Shizuru. So she's gonna be using a whole bunch of like these daggers over here. And it's even kind of like low key deceptive, right? Because Muimi wields like a short sword and a great sword. And for some reason she's using daggers, but just have a look at what exactly 
exactly she uses, the items that she uses, and then pre-farm for that as well. So all of this is just me trying to say that the normal times three is worth way more than that Valentine Erico. All right, and so coming back to the Valentine Erico event over here, the next question would be, well, what about these hard stages? And as you can see, I have farmed all of them out. All of these hard stages are pretty much non-negotiable every single time, so clear those ones out. And so then the last question that I do want to get to is the special mode that unfortunately we cannot see here. Now similar to how there is a breakpoint for the very hard mode, like if you can't do it within three turns then just spam the hard mode, the special mode also has something similar. So if you cannot beat the special mode within eight to nine turns, then it is better to just dump your boss tickets into the hard mode. Now with all of that being said, I have one last thing to answer and that is, well, how far should I take my Valentine's Eriko. So Valentine's Eriko, is she like a summer Mifuyu or is she like a summer Kokoro or is she like this or that? And previously I did mention that she should be at at least three stars to be able to use her bond levels so that you get those stats. However, what about from like a competitive point of view? I would recommend going for, if you are competitive, like in the competitive CBs or if you want to run like some of the good timelines, then do try to go for at least a four star Valentine Eriko, whether this be via DAs, which might cost about like 200 DAs which isn't too much. Or alternatively, you could be dumping all of your stamina into this 115 stage so that you can get all of these boss tickets and then run them in the hard mode. All right, I think that's enough of like the contextual stuff. So let's get a move on with the team comps themselves for the very hard boss as well as the special boss. Okay, my guys, welcome to a whole bunch of different team comps and different guides actually compiled by different people. And so the comp that I used to clear out the very hard boss for me on day one, it was found in this spreadsheet here. So for this quick guide, a shout out to Sun and all of the people that did help him put it together. It's quite a good sheet. There are a whole bunch of different things such as these like value ratios. However, like what we're really interested in are these two buttons over here. And so if we go ahead and click this one and then click on that link over there, we are going to be presented with all of these different team comps. And so as you can see, there are a lot of like prerequisites or a lot of stats here. However, what I do want to call out is that like I have seen a lot of success from people who have been using like lower star alternatives. So for example, I saw one with a Makoto 3 clear, a Jun 3 clear as well. And so even if it looks like you are missing off some of the stars or missing some of the equipment, so I remember somebody using like a 10-3 New Year's Yui and it actually worked, I would still encourage you guys to just give them a shot, right? And so the one that I used was this one over here. And as you can see by the, unfortunately a little bit hard to read text over here, it is a full auto comp. And if you guys don't have the summer Tamaki, you can certainly try the Tamaki, although I don't know if it's gonna like bring enough damage because summer Tamaki is, she's a real powerhouse. But otherwise you've got some other nice ones over here, right? You got the Jun, Kari, Nozomi, Makoto, Arisa, all of whom are permanent units. And then on top of that, this one over here featuring a normal Yui, and then this one down here featuring a New Year's Yui as well. Another call out that I wanted to make was this UE row over here. So as you can see, Arisa does not require her UE here. However, when you look at this one over here, they do actually require the UE. In my opinion, the more important one that you really do need to focus on is this one over here, Eriko. Eriko without her UE, she isn't actually like all that hot. I mean, some people would argue otherwise because they're into Yandere's, but I digress. Anyway, so these are the basic autos and semi-auto comps. However, if you cannot do those, and there are a lot more, if I scroll, 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 you can see that there are a bunch of manual comps that you could try. So this one is actually looking pretty good because Jun, Kari, Makoto, Rei, Yui, they are all permanent units. However, I highly suspect that you're probably going to need a pretty good UE Rei for this one. All right, and so with that being said, let's have a look at the special ones over here. Now, like I said earlier in the video, it is actually not not really possible for us to three hit the special stage. And the reason that we are not able to three hit the special stage is because we do not have the Eriko UE, which is effectively required for it. And so if you don't wait for the Eriko UE, you could potentially do it in four to six, I believe, four to six team it. But again, I would actually highly recommend waiting until Eriko UE is available, like fully juicing her out and then using this timeline over here. And honestly, that is going to apply to all of the other guides that we have compiled here today. And so with that being said, we are done with this guide over here. Again, a big shout out to Sai for putting this one together. All right, so next we've got a pretty cool one. You can see some Japanese over here. So this is what the boys used when they were playing on the JP server. And so just scrolling down a little bit uh, down to special teams, you can see there are a whole bunch of like three hit teams as well as six hit teams. And if you look closely, Eriko is not actually featured in this one over here, nor this one down here. And then for all of the three puns, you can see that Eriko is being featured in every single one of those teams. One, two, three, four. This guy for some reason had to take four times, but one, two, three. And then this one down here, one, two, three. And then if you remember back to this one over here, 
Erico, one, two, and then three over here. All right, and so coming back to this one over here, I do believe that we may have some stats on these comps over here. And so they should technically work. We do have a whole bunch of very hard one pan teams. And so if comps don't work from this one, I would actually highly recommend like using these ones first. Then you can certainly give these ones a shot. However, like the reason that I recommend these ones is because like this, uh, this guide, these comps were actually put together, I believe by global players. All right, and so that's it for this one over here. Big shout out to the creator of this. Unfortunately, you're not listed, so I'm sorry for not being able to directly verbally credit you, but just know that we are certainly very grateful. And so with that being said, let's move on to the next one here. So my guys, welcome to Fan Subbing's guide. You guys already know it. He usually publishes guides, event guides, and like team comps for these events. And if we scroll down fast enough, you can see we do have some special modes as well as very hard one clears. But otherwise, again, I would definitely look for like some comps in here first before consulting this one over here. And so the nice thing about fan subbing's guides are that they always have like a lot of the mechanics as well as some of the stats broken down. And so if you really can't find something that works for you, then you're going to be like looking through these skills. Skill one, skill two, you can see inflicts physical damage. It means like potentially bring in some of the physical defenses. If you don't have Jun, for example, it might mean like, oh, you got to choose between Miyako, uh, Pekarin or Kuka. It's going to be Miyako because it's physical damage. Just stuff like that, right? So like you can actually plan around it. However, he has also actually included a whole bunch of teams for us to try for the special mode. All right, and so as you can see, Jun Kari Nozomi, or rather I'm trying to point out the lack of Eriko, lack of Eriko, lack of Eriko over here, and lack of Eriko. So he has found a four team clear without Eriko. And honestly, that's like really fine. However, if you are a min maxer, again, you will be waiting for the three pun clear. But if you are afraid of like, oh, you might miss it or you might forget about the special mode, then like you can do this one, like these four team clear, just to like be able to get it over and done with today. All right, and so with that, I believe there is one last place or one last source of guides, if you guys give me a sec. And so it's just this Discord post over here by Reen. So shout out to Reen for this one, where he has compiled a whole bunch of different teams. So we have the one turn, one punch, auto VH teams. We've also got some links to like one pun for VH as well as special teams. However, like nothing is gonna change the fact that you cannot three pun it without the Erico UE. And so again, this is just a whole bunch of different options if you can't find anything in like the first resource. But other than that, that's kind of it. Um, I guess the last thing I could talk about is the metal gadget itself. So like, oh, when should you refresh the box one, box two, box three, box four, stuff like that. Like the difference between like refreshing or like not refreshing stuff like that, or like the methods that I'm about to talk about, it really is not that much. It's like the difference between like maybe like 10 or 20 gems or like maybe 10 divine amulets. It's It really is not like crazy, crazy optimal. And so generally speaking, there are two strategies for this one over here. Either you clear all of them, line up one, two, three, four, and then you keep going on five. And the other option is that you actually skip boxes one and two, but then you max clear, clear out all of the items that are in three and four, and then proceed to just keep farming out five because, well, I mean, there's nothing else that we can do with those uh, boss tickets. And so those are the two options if you did want to kind of like switch your brain off and not really think about what you're doing here. Because again, like the efficiency, it's not crazy crazy different you're not going to be like oh breaking your account if you don't clear out box one or two or something and so you guys already know what time it is it is time for the secret question. And so the first secret question would be for you veterans. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything in terms of like the drop rates? Did I miss anything in terms of the efficiencies? I'm pretty sure I've covered like everything off. There wouldn't be too many of the critical items that I've missed. But otherwise, the other secret question that I do want to ask you guys is that if I come back to these guys over here, all of these different team comps for the very hard boss or all of these actually, I want to know the team comp that you guys did use to clear the very hard boss. Because like, although there are a lot of team comps that are listed here, there's certainly are people who are a little bit more creative about it and can like you know, they're like, oh, instead of a Jun, they're going to use a Miyako, but like instead of New Year's Yui, then they're going to do something else, right? And so if you did use one of these, do let me know. I want to see which one is most popular, but if you did end up coming up with a custom comp, also let me know that too. And so if you guys do end up leaving a comment down below, then I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if this video did help you, then please consider a like. And if you do like to see more, then please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, my guys, as Erico once said, and I can feel her era coming, but she said that all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye